Hello, ladies, gents, and angry spelunkers raging at the dwellings. Look, I've been working a long time. And Luna, poor Luna's been getting neglected. And when she gets neglected, she gets pretty damn loud. So I put her on my lap so she can be quiet and lay down and shut her freaking mouth, okay? So you'll get the cat cam today. It's not something I have done in a little while. You may actually not be aware that I have this cutie little kid. Who's a good kitty? Who's a good kitty? Luna's a good kitty. Yeah, Luna's a good kitty. You, I don't think I have even talked about Luna since Spelunky 2 came out. So anyway, let's do some spelunking. I am sorry, Rafi. Oh, you have found pain. Luna, why, why you have to turn around now? Why you have to turn around now? Now you're going to show everybody your butt. You're going to be a total... You're going to be a total piece of garbage. Now you're going to just show everybody your butt. Okay, let me just... Let me just reposition this camera. She actually is pretty sleepy. Just wants to lay down and sleep, aren't you, Luna? You just want to lay down and sleep. She just wants to lay down and not show anybody her face. Anyway, let's go into the freaking game. We're here not to pay attention to no freaking cat. We're going to have an amazing time in Spelunky. Spelunky too. So eager to go into these wonderful places and never suffer any kind of pain whatsoever. It's going to be just fine. Why why I tuck your head right under my arm, Luna? All you are now is a gray blob. I can't believe it. You're supposed to be this cute photogenic cat that brings delight to the hearts of all of the people. Man, some, some nice spike shoes in that crate. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Look at me pulling off the stupid jump on the second attempt. Look at me pulling off the stupid jump on the third attempt. Look at me pulling off the stupid jump in the fourth attempt, et cetera, et cetera. The fifth attempt on the, on the sixth attempt. Look, I refuse to use resources. I refuse to use resources to make this jump a possibility. Oh, baby. <laughs> I am the greatest. I told you, fellas, I could get it done. All right, let's just get the hell out of here. What will this one be? Will it be a eggplant run? Ooh. Will it be a speed run? Actually, uh, now that we are expanding our horizons here, please. We're expanding our horizons now. Uh, maybe it's time to start considering speedrun nonsense at the very least for the purposes uh, yeah. for the purposes of the achievement at the very least I want to get that done it will be very nice to get that achievement because you know for sure I am getting, going to get every Sam damn achievement in this game going to be one of the few games that I bother to 100% it's gonna happen it's definitely a thing that I will endeavor to do and there's some achievements that are actually kind of tough probably the most notable would be the dastardly no gold run I am sure I am I am confident that the speed running will be not easy but feasible in the future the no gold achievement for Spelunky 2, holy crap, it's going to be painful. That's going to be a major pain to achieve. It will be an actual literal achievement and not just some nonsense uh, support us. Just not some nonsense electronic badge. It will be a true achievement that shall be spoken of in hush tones for ages to come. Ages. She's just not feeling cute today. She's just feeling like she wants to just nap. Alrighty, this bear trap. This freaking totem trap. Excuse me. I'm sorry, Derek you for not getting that nomenclature correctly. Please, please, I, I, I beg you. I just got this done earlier. I just I just did it. I just I just please. No. <laughs> Look, I am determined to save myself this rope. And there's nothing you can do to stop me from saving myself this rope, okay? And yeah, down it comes. I want to grab it. And now... Oh. Look. Look. I will take no lip from any of you. I'm sick of being made fun of in the comments. Being made fun of constantly. But this monkey community, I'm the laughing stock. Everybody on the Reddit looking at my shenanigans. And 
and laughing their asses off at my incompetence. Everybody just pointing out the nonsense that I do and just laughing in my face. That's what all of you are doing behind my back, aren't you? Uh, oh, man, I just this takes me back to those damn high school years and how they will call me the amazing poopy pants because I sharded that one time while at the blackboard. And when I say blackboard, I mean blackboard. I don't know what the standard is these days. Is it an electronic flat screen that that uh, children finger paint on these days? Like schools are more like extremely modernized these days, aren't they? This is like a super technology kind of thing. Schools, in especially in the United States, they are extremely modern uh, state of the art affairs, right? Quite certain that's the case, and they're not just uh, 30 years behind the curve or anything like that. I would like to sacrifice the flesh of Major Stupid to our goddess. And I will be very, very pleased when that comes to pass. It'll be hilarious. You may notice. You may have noticed. And I am always, always consider what the hell just happened. Oh, that man just got punched to death, isn't it? I always consider, should I be tongue in cheek about this, about this, or should I just spell it out right away? I'm going to spell this one out right away because I don't want the anybody that comes into these videos and sees Spelunky 2 for the first time without playing it themselves, which, you know, it's unlikely, but may happen that that's a, there's a person that does that. Just checks out Spelunky 2 on the internet and stumbles upon this particular video. It's like, that's weird. I saw this character be this way and then I played the game and he wasn't that way. What is going on? There are modding tools now and I have started. The what will eventually be the Blargo full conversion. It's really not going to be a full conversion. Oh yeah, there's, there's sacrifices to be made here. Sweet, sweet sacrifices. To be made right there. Please. I do have the skeleton key, don't you have to use that? Great. Amazing. Have you seen the giant pile of items in our inventory right now? I wonder how we're going to waste them. Anyway, long story short, I have been endeavoring to make alterations to the game. So if there is any discrepancy with your own game, going to be because I went out of my way to make it look funkier than it actually is. Oh, there we go. Okay, I am done with this. Go with that. wonder what did I do with my shotgun. I dropped it to kill Antonio Banderas. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We only have uh, like zero seconds to get to the exit and get through get for the shopkeeper and this is a deep level i totally forgot about that oh man oh baby wonder how i'll waste all my items maybe by uh wasting a ton of time wasting a crap load of time just endeavoring to do absolute nonsense being greedy that's what happened just there just just greedy and pathetic is what just happened absolute garbage nice <laughs> so anyway yeah i decided to instead of i would normally be all like oh man it got patched in look at look at the margo's new whip Ooh, amazing no no margo has been altered to better fit our narratives i think that it is an improvement overall yeah, i don't want to shoot you in the face my my mustachioed fellow so we're just going to rope you and go. We have a very easy Ucharai. Thank you for making it not a pain in my asshole. Luna, are you being disturbed by your your human making all these damn word-shaped noises? Are you wishing that he would just be freaking quiet so you can take a nap? And your breath could use some work, Luna. I can smell it from here. That's pretty bad. <laughs> I mean, you do eat your own barf, you know? So, always uh, have that in mind when you complain about a cat's smell. They do eat their own barfs whenever they, they feel like it. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they're like, okay, you deal with it. I think it, it, it is all a 
function of whether they barfed up food that was barely digested or they barfed up a giant hairball. They don't eat those back. Oh, look, it's a uh, Kaliadar. But we already rescued the dog. Yeah, there's no real point in maximizing that Kali out there. So anyway, what is this going to be? Will it be a candidate for an eggplant run? Will it be a chaos? Servant of chaos run. Will it be a grind to $7.99? That's basically the breakdown of all the different different runs that are... Uh, so good, so good. You just keep shooting into the blank darkness. I'm sure one of these shots. There he comes. There he comes. He gets murdered. Look, I had not even a clue. Holy crap, man. That is a lot of busy work to get to the key. There you go. Um, I did not even realize your stupid ass turkey was there. Didn't realize it. So how about... You chill! Get off my freaking back. There was a glancing shot that went into your tur turkey. Big freaking whoop. You... Ho ho homicidal. <laughs> For some reason, the word homeopath was coming into my brain. And I was like, that's not, that's not the word. My mouth kept saying, that's not the word brain. Bring me the proper word that you're looking for. Homicidal. That is the word that I was reaching for. And for some reason, homeopath kept being uh, offered up. Cannot tell you what the hell that is about. But, you know, the brain works in mysterious ways somehow. Some days. Have I opened this? Yes, I have. I endeavor to do bad things to uh, questionable people. There's Major Stupid the Third right here. He needs to be rescued. Instead, I have murder him. A little bit. Just maybe one third of the way to murder. Oh, no. Don't misery. me. It's a whole bunch of turkeys that we already took care of. Okay, so there's the shop and there's the exit. But the exit is guarded by a punch totem. Want to find the way out? Nope, nope. You have decided to just carry on into the danger zone, huh? Oh, jeez. Because that's actually good. He should be punched to death. Wish I had uh, alerted this guy earlier. Wish I had alerted this guy earlier. So he would have longer to get punched. As it stands, we might simply go. It's unlikely that... The second shop is unlikely to have good items. Because often it is uh, just a slave. That being said, you know, I am a greedy son of a bitch. So maybe once he goes up to the other side again... Please be punched. No? I guess we'll just go. I suppose we'll just go. This should be uh, safe enough. Yeah? Alright. <coughs> oh man. Oh man. Oh jeez. The goof. I got that goof. And that's why... That's why I wanted to not be uh, violent towards that piece of garbage shaped as a... Uh, in the loose shape of a human person. Now I'm forgiven. All oh, sins forgiven. I'm a little mad, but that, you know, I run up to that skeleton and I patted its butt. And out of complete shame, I got damaged. It was a moral point of damage there because I touched the butt of a skeleton. So, do I want to destroy this son of a bitch and go to the jungle? We have 25,000. Let's go to Volcana. He said, well. Desperately trying for this piece of trash. Please. Okay, now now you can stop there. No, I didn't really want you to roll. But if we do that, he should continue running. Okay, that's actually good. Because we can actually bait him. And to keep rolling. Or not. You do that. You do that. No, no, no. Apparently, uh, if, when you damage him, he doesn't keep rolling. Uh, I have become far more zen about this weirdo. Just maybe have a little bit of patience. And he'll do exactly what you want him to do. Maybe not be so dumb and garbage gobbling and stupid in the head. Hmm? How about that? 
how we attempted that. What a contrast from the previous run. The previous run was too good. It had to come to an end. Look, Spelunky 2 is the life of struggle. Spelunky 2 will make you work, I think, at last. It is the first time ever while I'm recording that we get the metal clanking mood. I don't know why it's so rare. And there is like zero benefit to it. I have yet to discover even a single bit of treasure or, you know, interesting bit of new extra stuff that happens when you get the clanking level. Could not tell you what the hell the purpose of it is. It's just a cool thing that can happen with no benefit whatsoever. If you know a single benefit that comes from the clanking metal level that has these conveyor belts all over the place. I mean, it's like an extra danger that may damage you if you if it falls on your head. That's 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 it. That's the entire how. The entire purpose of these is to just to be annoying and give you no benefit whatsoever. I'm going to explore this area like I have done before. That's a freaking spider infestation over there. What is going on over here? <laughs> Uh, and I guess it also gives you the opportunity to get it permanently stunlocked. Looks like they spawn stuff. Like that snake actually got spawned from one of the clanking fellas, I think. Yeah, stuff it, it's spawning. Holy crap. Okay, it's all good. Uh, so I guess that's the possible benefit that the trash can spawn things inside it, but it's like. I guess it's something. I guess it's something. It's better than nothing. So I, I retract my salty commentary. If it's actually uh, working the way that I just dis uh, discussed. Might as well get a, get a hole in the wall here. Kabumo. Alright, what you got? You know what? That actually may be worth buying. Except, you know, the, the Mac bar. The Mac bar! I believe that's the actual word, actual name of those. Mac bars, lava blobs. Oh, yeah, really? You you shot your thing out of your store. I, I'll bet you, brother. If I even touch this, if I touch that, I will be labeled a freaking thief. That is, seems unfair to me. Let me just buy it and just be on our merry way. Alrighty, off we go. And hey, I do have the built-in excuse. I love it. I love when uh, Luna wants to be on my lap. Yeah, no. Because I get the built-in excuse. Oh, the cat. Oh, no. It repositioned my hand. and That's why I died, obviously. It wasn't my stupidity. It was Luna got on my head. Like, I say her name. She doesn't give a crap. <laughs> like, I'm sleepy. I'm sleepy, human. Please do not disturb. If you could maybe shut your mouth and stop making mouth noises, that would be great. Very rich of you, Luna, to, to be like that when you're constantly, literally moaning and whining about receiving attention. So she's a very vocal cat. She will let you know exactly when she's displeased with you. Which is, every second of her life, she's not getting attention. Uh, please, the bow is kind of a necessity in this place. Kind of, uh, kind of need it. <laughs> uh, that's another big one down there. I suppose I'm digging down here and hoping for it. There it is. We have zero items. Do you, do you see this? This absolute monstrosity of a run that we have right now. I don't throw these runs away. They build character. If you are a fair weather friend in Spelunky and all you do is play all those 1-2 jetpacks, I guess I'll play this one out. Absolutely not. We bear the game out. I mean, we do have at least... At least we have bombs and ropes. And if you have bombs and ropes, that's half the battle. It's all good. Hmm... I guess we'll just rope down with one of our 28 ropes. I realize, like, the, the little skull motif. I thought that it was very appropriate. 
I need something like there was something like um oh I may put a put a Paco's hat on it. No no no. It needs to be an item that Margo has plenty of. You know? Maybe it makes sense that she collect skulls <laughs> and tie them to her ropes as a warning to the, all those that will come after her. It's like a disturbed spelunker came around these parts and left the trophies of his enemies. It's of her enemies. You're an equal opportunity murder here. Alright, I think we're good here and now the drill has cometh. The drill cometh! And Volcana despairs. Okay, some damage has been done. Now you may be roasted. Yeah. Love it. Take my bow! Don't take my bow, Gronk! Freaking Gronk. Check out. I think he's people, right? Gronk is people. He's not a beast. <laughs> Although, uh, it may be in dispute. In the the brain dead brother. He's part of a triplet. Far smarter than they look. Triplets Gronk, Ugdug, and Garoga. Wah. Are always plotting creative ways to spring Splunkers low. They are always with ill intention in their head. So they must be. They must be drilled into the air. Earth. You may even say that we have drilled into their skull the concept that they should not cross us. We'll be very much regretful of that decision. Uh, all right, we definitely want that landscape. It's going to be great. Oh, there goes my arrow. It's going to be melted. So now my bow, I guess I can grab it. I can grab Vlad's own arrow. Not Vlad's, but uh, Ben Horseface. Pow. You know, if all the items that you can have, I think spike shoes are probably the best. If I had to choose a single item, like there's only one item you can have, probably I would go spring shoes. Would I go climbing gloves? Ah, that was terrible. Would I go climbing gloves? That's maybe. Like, if there's the one item that you can have in only one run. I don't think I would go jetpack. I, w I think I would... Uh, that's a pack. That's kind of different, isn't it? You, you can't count. Oh, of course I'll pick the jetpack. Durr. Please. Please. Just go away. That's my bow. Grunk. I'm ready to use it for great effect. Tonight, now you're nothing but a gray blob once more. Please don't arrow me. Oh, there goes my bow. All right. Don't arrow me. I have deep respect for all the nonsense. And now at least we have a regular arrow. And this is what happens when... Uh, this is what happens. <laughs> when you enable Gronk to go ahead of you. You're a freaking moron. I guess the crown is here. Up. All right. At least we should be able to kill Vlad with this arrow. We just need a good a good line of fire. A good kind of line of sight. There you are. Still doable. Yeah, look at me. Look at me being smart. Ah! Being a very intelligent spelunker. Not getting murdered. My absolute garbage. Stop it. Gronk. That is my arrow. I wish there was a way to grab the item the Gronk is carrying out of his hands without having to do violence against them. <laughs> you know, it's it's so silly. wonder if there is a way, and I'm just moaning and bitching simply because I have a lack of knowledge. Anyway, we don't have a whole lot of time. Get through all this garbage. Oh, baby. Let's get the hell out of here. Feeling like a pretty good run. This is definitely shaping up to be, though, as a very bog standard. Let's see how far we can get into the cosmic ocean. Kind of run. Alrighty. And I'm okay with that. That as we enter this, this realm of our Spelunky 2 adventure. There will be achievement hunting. There will be eggplant hunting. 
There will be chaos serving. Please, hitbox. Just jump on them. There you go. Nice. The rock dog hitbox is so damn idiotic. It is super difficult to get it done properly. It is so easy. Oh, I'm glad that this rock dog has prevented dam terrible damage to come into pass. Please do not roast my eyebrows. Oh, yeah. There it comes. Here's Vigo. He's going to be rescued by the good kitty that he is. I'm wondering. Definitely going to be... Oh, that's something I wanted to illustrate. Recently, my cosmic ocean death happened because of a thing. And I want to illustrate the inconsistent behavior of Splunky controls. I think this should be doing it. This should do it. Let's see. There we are. I can totally demonstrate it here. So, if you simply... Here's what happens that annoys me to no end. That is a very niche situation, but it's inconsistent controls that actually got me killed in the Cosmic, o Cosmic Ocean. You have the up direction pressed, and you jump while running. You jump while running, he, she does not hang on to the next rope. And this got me killed because I expected to, for her to hang on to the next rope. There's this short short span of time that she does not hang on to the next rope and it doesn't happen if you don't run it doesn't happen if you just let go of the jump and i say it's inconsistent because it happens with any other uh, space of rope like it happens between these because they're spaced but it will not happen between two that are close together and it's inconsistent I guess you could simply expect it, you know, you know that that happens, but once, unless you're used to that, you anticipate that being the case, well, it may get you killed at 7-1, <laughs> like it happened to me, so, you know, a little bit of, uh, a little bit of feedback there, do I think that it should be changed? I think so, because you expect, see, there's crates up there, always important to check for crates. You expect a certain behavior, and you don't expect exceptions to that behavior, and it's okay for an exception to exist. You know, it's just something I used to have to learn, I guess. Why am I uh, doing this this way? This is pretty damn stupid. Please, yeah, make a good gap. Really hope that they don't change all make fight anymore. Like I, I, I think I reached the point when I'm like, this is the least painful is going to get. Just don't take this strat away from me, please. I would be very ornery. I would be salty. I may even make a very upset comment comment in the Steam forums. That is the extent of my extreme displeasure. I may go out of my way to make a comment in the Steam forums. And you know when that comes, it's like, oof. Look at this badass over here. Better watch out for his wrath. You know? As to say, I am happy with the way Omix works now because he is not as much of a chore as he was before. All I want is to just get rid of him. <laughs> he is a chore that this game foists upon me. Stop trying to make it a thing. Just, I would rather him have a consistent way of disappearing from my life. I would appreciate that. He was always annoying to deal with. In Splunky HD. And that is consistent with Splunky 2. Yep. He's just a chore. And right now, I think he's hits a pretty good sweet spot on it being slightly challenging. I ain't not taking long. If you had to wait for those damn bombs, it's just another freaking chore. Uh... Getting money here is actually not bad. We have a peace. Let's just call it a truce between us and the filthy shopkeepers. And you know something that I haven't done in a while? Let's try and get for that um, mothership. Especially since I was humiliating Duat. And you may say, well, Blargo, you don't even have sticky bombs. You just said if you don't have paste, 
if you don't have that jar full of jizz, you can't go into the freaking duet. You're not the boss of me. Now that I expect it, I can cook some bombs. What truly matters is getting rid of freaking uh, Anubis too. He's the real boss fight in Duat. Once you get rid of Anubis too, the complications are gone. Then Osiris is a total pushover. Unless you take a little too long and he's able to... He's able to uh, destroy the floor at the top of Duat. Okay, here's your stupid ass bow. Never talk to me again, Gloop. Well, the rock dog has seen better days. Going to the temple, you say. It feels really dumb. It feels so dumb. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Look, I'm not one. I am not one to shy away from challenges. One. Two, I am not one to be put in my place by this video game. I never learn. I just come back for more punishment. You try to humiliate me, I'll laugh it off. I'll be like, Pfft. you think this is bad? You haven't been married to 15 years to the nightmare. That is my wife. <laughs> That's not true. That's not true. My wife is a piece of bread. She's beautiful and harmless. Don't kill me. Kabumo. Feeling pretty the good. Uh, those cooked bums. Pretty nice roast that we made over there. My goodness, please don't get the scepter. Crushed, it will be humiliating. Oh, jeez. Eh? There is Van Horseface that we need to find. This should be safe. There you go. Famous last words. Just wait a little bit for that psychic super blast. To stop happening there is there is the place that i want to go i guess we'll bomb right there and the exit was kind of easy to get to i think hopefully there won't be any more dangers yeah there you go all righty go back find van horse face holy crap <laughs> it's just absolute evil all right let me just uh get this body You get what you deserve. You're here. In between. All of these. Poisonous creatures. You have not found an antidote for yourself. You're an idiot. Right, give me that alien compass. Have you seen a list of items. More pitiful and pyrrhic. Than. The, the, the items in my inventory right now. A parachute. And my climbing gloves. And landscape. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I am ready for the adventure right here. Wow. What an absolute ultra-powered Splunker. I could say... I could say I did not splurge at the sportsman's warehouse. Ah! <laughs> it's not mad at me. It's mad at the world. That's all it is. Uh, right? Uh-oh. Mistakes. Mistakes uh, abound. No. Why they haven't come here? Like, it makes no sense. Huh? No, I'm just too intimidated by the, the crush block. You, sir, must be eliminated. Wow, they take more damage than a spike shoots stump, huh? Didn't know that. They drop a ruby. Yes, yes, that's a thing that happens. They... The world tries to crush you all the time. Stop being so foolish. Yeah, 25,000. Sure thing. Let me flatscape to victory. It was quite humiliating the last time I was here. Even with my spring shoes, I was unable to get everything lit up. Because I was somehow having a brain short circuit. It was quite the shameful display of incompetent torch lighting. After I have said several times, man, this thing is so trivial now. Only an absolute buffoon fails to uh, light up all the torches. Well, I was that buffoon. Not too long ago. What was it? The previous video, wasn't it? I oh, know, man. Everything blurs together. The carousel of pain. That's right. Father talked about this. 
Father talked about this item. This is the item. I've been drinking it all along. I need to put it in my pocket. I need to put this in my pocket and take it to mother. Maybe then her ailment uh, shall be over, but I very much doubt it. I think it goes deeper than a uh, simple potion can fix. I guess we're just leaving, right? This is nothing else to be done here. Just having it in your possession. Just having... <laughs> Poor Luna. Poor Luna. She's like, why the hell do you disturb me for? I was having the most wonderful dream. I was chasing hamsters around. Lathering their entrails all over my mouth. Having a great time. Just chewing on those tiny little bones. Can you go wake me up? It's not my fault. Okay. I must use you as a prop. For everybody to approve. See? She's looking up at me like, you stupid human. Stop moving around. This is this is all I need to do here. Self-sacrifice must come. I mean, I guess I could maybe be a little greedy. Try to get a little bit of favor from here and there. Thing is, the City of Gold doesn't really have that many sacrifices to be made. Getting croc men sacrificed is a major pain. That will get you Telefrag slash munch to death. Leprechauns are utter trash that give you no points whatsoever. So it's really a matter of how much do you want to dare the game to kill you? Because it will kill you. It will freaking kill you. Ah oh, man, I forgot that Vladscape gets eliminated too. I should have definitely, should have definitely left that with Gloop. This is like the worst setup for Duat. I came here out of just gamer pride. That's what have, has led me astray into the realm of the of the dark gods of Duat. Because man, was it not wise. This was indeed the absolute worst choice. I guess we can just rope out of here. Nope, we cannot rope out of here. We need to actually find a viable path forward. I think the way on the left over here is good. Yeah. Annoying. Annoying indeed. We don't have any Cali favors. She might give me a turkey if I'm lucky. I don't think uh, she will, though. We have not seen her whatsoever. So she, she does not care about my flesh at all. I am nothing but a pathetic little mortal. Trifling with gods right now. All right, please. Anubis too. You're the real danger here. I can find you. Crap. I guess I can try to whip you. I hate them so much. The longer we wait, the longer we spend here. Yep, 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 yep. It's a nightmare. <laughs> the longer we spend here, the, the tougher it will be. I guess I could get a cape out of this piece of garbage. Because all the uh, the enemies keep spawning. This cape is very welcome. Very welcome indeed. There's Osiris. Please, Pepe, do not munch on my butt. This is terrible. Oh, well, uh, they have done my own job. To eliminate their own idiotic pieces of garbage. This is awful. Let's see if I go all the way over here. That is not gonna happen. Well, I mean, we can just try to kill Osiris. Don't really want to do that, though. You know? Or you can just get your skull smashed. That's another option. Uh, whatever happened to freaking. Freaking Anubis, too. You don't need to kill him. Just let it be. Shot never stops, so you gotta respect it. That arrow from the evil enchantress. I guess we can just try to grab the tablet and go. Let me out of here. Let me out of here. Let me out of here, please. They did not let me out of here. And once more, Duat has uh, ended the run because I was too damn proud. 
look at look at the speed run that's going to happen. This is going to be the most incredible speed run you have ever seen. This is going to be amazing. You have never seen the likes of this incredible speed running that's going to happen just now. Look at me opening the path there. That was complete bullshit, and I do not claim any fault about that do I death. Yeah, yeah, I could have been slightly more patient and just waited for the damn portal to become bigger. In my defense, in my freaking defense, why isn't that portal even exist, huh? Why, why is that the way things work? You should be able to just access the exit immediately. Question. <coughs> How do you kill Osiris? How the hell do you kill Osiris without bombs? That seems dumb. I guess you get on his... You get on his hand? You get on his hand? And then get up to his face? And you whip him? 40 times? <laughs> is, is that the intended mechanic with Osiris without bombs? Because then it's unreasonable. I really don't know. Some, some uh, boss fights in this game are perhaps not 100% thought through. I mean, it's odd to say. Something like that. Ooh, good opportunities. Alright, I think everything's fine. Everything's just fine. Look, I, I did no damage whatsoever to that weirdo. Why am I not forgiven? For all my sins should be forgiven right now. I don't think that I should be continued to be considered uh, as a terrible person. This is it. This is going to be that achievement that uh, has eluded me so far. What, you think I'm going too slow? Absolutely not. You... <sighs> we will not speak about this event. We will just continue consuming content, content and enjoying... The idiotic disaster that is happening right here. Well, all kinds of lava is happening right now. I even have a freaking cape, brother. <laughs> Why am I not using my cape? Uh, not forgiven yet, huh? I did shoot that man in the face. Like, that is the thing that happened. I suppose I should get, you know, own up to it. Eh. Yep, yep, just stick it up in the face. Just do it. And there was a look. I, I refuse to leave it like this. Could not tell you why. I think if you, oh, I picked the wrong path altogether. Picked the wrong path altogether. I'm not going to throw it away. I'm just going to own it like a piece of garbage that I am. Just going to own the trash mistakes that I do, that I make. And hope for the best. You know what? Maybe a torquey. Maybe this gobbler. Stop. This gobbler is the answer. Just you wait. This amazing gobbler is going to get us to where we need to be. I hate everything. I hate everything. I hate it all so much. Oh man, I am so full of hatred for moles. I think that's a pretty well established feeling among the entirety of the community. Oof, sticky bombs will be amazing. But not amazing enough to mess with this weirdo. Going to get to that exit. Oh! Uh, we actually want him to climb the ladder. Wanna climb the ladder? Come on, brother. You can climb the ladder. You can also get punched in the head. Alright. You feel forgiven? There you go. Everything's perfect. Now we can easily make our way to Volcana once more. Do, 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 do. Wonders. I need to do the throw a bomb after Mole Man, and that way this is a lot faster to get down here for. Uh, this may be the first time I'm trying to do some serious speed running after I did the Cosmic Ocean. I did a little bit of meme speed running. It was, it was pretty pathetic. Really pathetic and sad. The first time that I attempted it, no Jedi. So 
clearly. Just, just wait for the fire to stop trying to threaten your head. I was going to just bomb down, but instead, just find... Oh, there goes my shotgun. I think I want to hang on to it. Filthy lava man. Go F yourself. Alrighty, that was, that was pretty good. Uh, now the limit is 10 minutes, as opposed to... As opposed to only 8. So, that achievement for a fast Spelunky 2 run, it's really not that bad. The worst part of the speedrun, probably New Babylon, is just a nightmare. I don't think that I have... I have not attempted to go anywhere close to fast in New Babylon. But I can't imagine it being anything other than just torture to try to get through New Babylon in a fast manner. Oh no! Uh, skeleton. Skeleton threw me off balance so hard. I just had not the presence of mind to correct my mistake. And now, here I am, once more. I mean, when you're speedrunning, you really don't care. Did I truly pick the absolute worst path available? I can see how dwellings can be extremely tilting to a speedrunner with all the dead-end areas that you just uh, carelessly jump into. You would think the telepack will be my choice here. The teleporter, I would say, is far superior. Because it doesn't just automatically teleport you. Okay. Sometimes it will just, you know, overperform. Nice. Sometimes the teleporter will overperform spectacularly. Go out above and beyond specifications. And teleport you into the frickin' moon. Because, <laughs> uh, man, what's that? A uh, hell of a teleporting. Yeah, yeah, you, you guys know that horned lizards don't give a crap. They don't, they could not care less about your whip when you're rolling. When they're rolling. You think I'm some kind of coward that just throws away a perfectly good speedrun? I am not a coward. I'm no coward. I'm just going to grab all your garbage and carry on. There's going to be damsels all over the place. It's going to be easy gobblers to get our health back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very manly squealing, and then uh, I get killed by a bat. Look, I've been doing this for 47 minutes. And the more that I go back into the game trying to make something worthy of anybody taking note the more I realize this is a fool's errand and I should just let it be just let it be take the massive shameful red with golden foil L eh. sure yeah I'll take it I'll take all of those as my punishment for trying to avoid a lizard how could I even dare to try to avoid lizards? Look. I can't help myself. <laughs> it's just, this may be a psychological problem. This may be something wrong with my brain that I uh, maybe need to put some work in. It is more powerful than I am. I must rob shopkeepers. I must do murder upon them when there's even, even remotely, even remotely tempting. I don't even have a means to get rid of this scumbag. Please, please roll. You're not going to roll there. I beg you. I mean, I could maybe grab an item. It's something that is useful for you to roll. Okay, now he's going to go down in there. Can we smack him? There we are. That should take care of the problem. So, this was a little shameful. It was a little pitiful. More on a little, maybe extremely. Look at this. Look at this. Oh no! 
Well, that's pathetic. Just get out of here. It's all good. I may have a pack. And I may only have four bombs. But that problem solves itself. Right here. Problem solved. What an incredible problem solver. I have just accrued. And like I said, those 10 minutes, they give you far more leeway than you may expect. Please, no. No butthole entering, please, Mr. Leprechaun. Don't appreciate it. Whoa, the, no, 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 don't do it. Oh, still alive, baby. <laughs> Ah, oh, life is grand. Life is so great. It's Spelunky. I absolutely love it. You can quote me. It's nothing that can ruin your life in this place. It's nothing but joy. Everything's great. All those people saying, Oh, Spelunky 2 is too hard. It's too damn unforgiving. I can't do it. It's just too difficult. I worked so hard to get that far. And in the end... There was a terrible thing that happened, and it didn't even matter. Look. Well, the ghost spot is now officially broken. <laughs> oh man, I, I I don't I don't agree. I don't agree with the outcome. I think we should have a recount on what happened. I want some impartial observers to come into that that Spelunky 2 run and reassess what just happened. You may have seen just complete and utter incompetence throwing bombs. But I don't believe your stupid lying eyes. Believe me when I say those bombs were rigged to explode next to my face. It's absolutely what was happened there. And if you don't think so, you're a freaking liar. You should get your head examined. So there, that's uh, my final statement. Thank you to the people of the court. And I will see you at your funeral. Oh, you didn't expect that plot twist, this year. You didn't expect that plot twist. I'm okay with this exploding. Again, that stuff. Uh, I kind of went out of my way to steal earlier, and now I'm killing these guys. Whatever, man. It's just a matter of farting around in, in Spelunky. You may be like, what's even the point of watching these runs that you're doing? You're just going forward and dying stupidly. This is just so dumb. What are you even doing? You're going to look mighty stupid. When we pull off the amazing speedrun achievement out of this right here. This run right here. I love to crush this guy with a block, so I always endeavor to maybe pull that off. What, you thought that you would see uh, Luna's butt all night long now? No. We're back. With Luna's beautiful mug. Ah, I just got uh, destabilized. I got destabilized by the parachute. Thought I was doing fine. I thought I was just taking a point of damage. I was perfectly accepting of that point of damage. I was like, sure, I'll take it. No problem. It's all right. I can, I can do it. I'm a big man. I can accept the consequences of my mistakes. This is a dead end. Why am I even going down here? So I can die in spikes properly? Yep. Yep, that's me. Dying in spikes properly. Oh, baby. Now, basically, it's all stubbornness of trying to do something that is even remotely worthy. I mean, that duat death is what brought this brought this uh, to our attention now. This is, this is why it's all happening. That humiliation in duat. Wow. What, a, what an amazing rope toss there. That was... Incredible. Please, my good sir. You appear to have been... Oh, there goes, there goes my life. My life is over. My life is forfeit. Because I was too damn stupid. And now here's a, a freaking maniac. 
Well, it's not dead. Uh, that's on my conscience. That's on my conscience now. I'm going to have to live with that forever. The voice echoes in here. All right, well, look. I'm liking this run, okay? I'm liking it quite a bit. I have had this thought just now. It's like, maybe uh, stop farting around and try? Maybe try with this one? Like, don't even try to, to go fast. Let's do a, a legit attempt. Because it's a good run. So for sure that'll be good. Yeah, it was good. Because this is pretty damn great. Look at all those bombs and a cape. So this is like good business. Yep, 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 yep. Everything is fine. We have a deep level though. So. Man, speedrunners must absolutely loathe deep levels, huh? This is like the worst mood, maybe even instant restart. When you get a deep level mood, it's like, duh, I don't want to go through this shit. <laughs> uh, that being said, it's not that bad. It's just literally a bad seed. So it's like, you just throw it. Throw it into the garbage. Here, carry one of these. Carry it in your belly and explode like the proper piece of garbage that you are. All right. Everything's fine. Uh, three points of health. We have been two minutes here. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Hello, my good sir. You may be ignored forever. This is perfectly self safe. We go Volcana all the way. Well, that sucks. Hello? Stop being an issue. Shopkeepers. Pfft. I scoff at them. Please, please don't die! Count. I am literally in august disbelief at that caveman's amazing ability to do three points of damage to you through my incredible ability to miss a stump, then shooting his mount, shooting his mount. Instead of him, and lastly, not realizing that uh, this cooldown on this thing is too long, way too long, the tallest man in China, way too long, um, and then I got killed, it is it. And by this is it, I mean, I'm taking the L. <laughs> this is a never-ending cycle of death and rebirth where nothing has any meaning. And that is the worst. I'm not even, like, I don't feel like I'm tilted or nothing. It's just been, please, holy crap, man. <laughs> I'm not feeling like I'm tilted. It's just, you know, stop and regroup. That's all that it is. Stop and regroup. Oh, of course, that's the problem. It's It's been Luna. Luna all along. It's all her fault. Nah, I don't want you to be facing that way, you piece of garbage. You absolute buffoon. How dare you. Now you're going to... Ah, you're actually descending there, so you should keep rolling. Yeah. Here, catch. Bitch! Give me that good stuff. Oh, baby. All right, all right. We're, we're back in the saddle here. Oh, that's annoying. Back in the saddle, back in Volcana. Have you seen such an incredible string? What an amazing streak of getting out of the dwellings in speedruns. And you may be, like, mighty uh, generous of you to say these are speedruns, Blargo. They're barely fast runs. Speedruns is way too generous. There's, there's a shopkeeper in here. Yeah. There was a shopkeeper. I knew the shape. I saw the lines. The code opened up to me. And I could... What the freaking hell? <laughs> it's a runaway slave. You, you do your thing, Gronk. I'm sure nothing bad will happen to me if I just ride this all the way to the bottom. I can't. 
Sure, I'll, I'll take it. Just do it. <laughs> I can't shoot here. But I want to just die. Oh, no, no. Um, I guess I'll just go down. I do have the power pack. I could have easily gotten help out of those turkeys. Just wait. Just you wait. It's going to be something that I'll regret forever, isn't it? Not getting health out of those turkeys. Those damn gobblers are going to be a l total larva piece of garbage. Ooh. I guess I've got to put down the, the power pack. Okay, revenge is mine. <laughs> revenge is mine. Uh, I would like to point out, at the very least, we have this tiny point of pride. No power pack explosions yet. How amazing is that? We have not been blown up by the freaking power pack so far. Is this doable? I think the gap is fine. Omic does not crush you when you do this. You'll, you'll just, yeah, 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 there's plenty of room. And now, of course, we go to tide pool. I guess we could maybe put a bomb down so you don't have to push this. Hey, look, I count this in my meager, pathetic, awful, sad bar for success. This is it right here. Getting to tide pool in a speed run. No! Tide pool in a speed run. I'm down. I'm down for that being. Yeah, that's that's my bar for success right there. I can't see. I can't see a damn thing. Whee! <laughs> All right, fella. You are a nightmare. Let me just uh, free you from all, all your mind prison. Oh, baby. This is totally going to work out. I may only have two health and five bombs. But Tiamat awaits a terrible chill. Look. You may... You may despair at the f sight of... Of terrible chills. But we are more powerful than that. Of course. I have no ropes left. <laughs> ah! <laughs> you may despair in this situation. I don't despair. Monkey has taught me. Never give up. Never surrender. Because you will find a way. There's always a way, if you believe. And I believe. I believe in our Lord and Savior, Tiamat. Look at that. Actually, we still need one level. Items? In Spelunky? They do exist. They do exist. Please. <laughs> I need them. <laughs> I can do without the power pack now. This cape is going to do everything I want. Everything I could possibly want. Shotkeeper gone. Look at that. To the ice caves. Ice caves? Perhaps. You may... Oh, well. Shotgun or pup? Neither. <laughs> Neither is this. All right. We don't need shotguns. We don't need anything. We're just going... To float on down to the bottom of the sea. I was awful, and I feel awful. I was hoping for a, a, a rope. Rope will be great. There's the exit. And a shopkeeper, you say? Amazing. Give me that thing. Give me that thing. Oh, man. Ooh. Did we pass uh, Cali Altar? Because I would be mighty salty if we had passed a Cali Altar. <laughs> A wondrous, wondrous way to end these uh, quote-unquote speedruns. We got New Babylon. That's something. That's actually quite the accomplishment. Go, trying to go fast. And we we had still three minutes to go. So, you know, we could have totally done it. Anyway, hopefully you enjoy yourself in this absolutely shit show of an episode. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, mm, say goodbye to Luna. Luna's such a good kitty. Yes, you are. You're such a good kitty. Yes, you are. Mm-hmm.